Lucas Media. So we got news coming out of boxing. Andre Ward, Andre Durrell, who I forgot to put in the thumbnail, and Andre Berto. Um, each did, was talking about Clarissa Shields, and Andre Ward, former champion and former great, had this to say about Clarissa. Quote, I've seen, I've been seeing Clarissa in conversation online for some years. I'm seeing grown men with kids like really disrespecting her, talking about maybe an appearance or what they don't like about her. They're not keeping it in the ring. Even some of the in the ring stuff is disrespectful. I really, I don't really appreciate that. What is all the hate and vitriol that's coming toward coming at Clarissa Shields? Where is that coming from? And Andre Durrell and Andre Berto pretty much said it as well. And, you know, a lot of it is a lot of hate. You know, a lot of it's hate. A lot of people hate on Clarissa because let's just, let's just keep it real. It's a black woman that's dominating at the fashion she has. I mean, she's been, she's a two-time Olympian, a two-time undisputed champion, and now moved up. And she fought MMA because it got boring at one point, right? But at the same time, uh, Clarissa also rubbed people the wrong way when she first was on the come up i remember a fan had stuck up for her she went in on a fan uh it's been times where you know she goes against the grain and it just you know the people who defend her sometimes she gets into it with them but it seems like she's she's opened up more um she's even marketing herself differently y'all see she went viral on the way in you know prior to all you didn't really see clarissa like she was more yeah she talked but it was like her aura to me was like she was an angry fighter but Nobody really was able to see her skill set. But now, you know, people are starting to see it, especially with her going up there and becoming undisputed. I mean, undisputed, uh, winning that heavyweight. And another thing people got to realize when you're the first to do it, you have a lot of haters. You have a lot of haters. And she was the first woman of this era of boxing to kind of come in and dominate the way she has. You know, and how many fights? I think she's had 15 fights. So she's 15 and 0, you know, and just and just collected a whole bunch of belts. You know what I mean? Like she got the the uh, IBF middle, WBC heavy, WBC middle. W, I've never heard of WBF, WBF heavy, WBF middle, WBO heavy, and WBO middle. So, you know, she's collected a lot of belts and, you know, she have rubbed people the wrong way, whether it was her fault or not. So, and like I said, a lot of people won't hate on her just because she's a black fight. You don't, you don't like to see that. People don't like to see that, but she's still marketable. And, you know, people will appreciate her more. How old is Clarissa? She only, what, 29? If she stick with boxing, she still got three or four more years. And even with uh, with Floyd, a lot of people hate on Floyd. Towards the end, you started seeing people kind of shift. So I'm sure it's going to be the same with her. You know, she just, she just one of those fighters who... who I say all the time, she's won at the right time in the wrong era. I do feel like if Clarissa went pro now, if the clock reset and she started winning belts now because of the sheer rise of social media and TikTok and all this other stuff, I feel like she would have been a bigger, a bigger fighter. Now people are on apps now. You know, uh, the zone is really big. Remember when that first came out, people was making fun of it and all of that. So, you know, right time. I mean, a uh, great career. Even like the, okay. Even the Williams sisters, right? Uh, Venus and, Saru, and Serena. I feel like if they would have came out now, they would have been 30 times bigger than what they were. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.